hey, we're still uh, experimenting with lights and stuff here. Got a little shine going on, I guess. Gonna have to powder for my videos. But, uh, yep. It's a super Sunday. My mom loves the football. We're gonna watch a game with her. She lives with us. Uh, she's really big into it. She's been planning all kinds of party foods and getting everything ready across multiple days because she's, oh, I get so tired. Get so tired all the time. So she cooks a little bit, has a drink, sits down, cooks a little bit, preps something, sits down. Sounds like a fun time, honestly. Um, she used to be more of a like prep it all right beforehand thing. My my light rotates through different lights here. Uh, the overhead lights give me like a little bit of like clown eyes, domino eyes, or whatever here, but. I wonder if I turn those off in the next video and see if the TV light works. So just get like a, a big white, just put, bring up like the Google like homepage, all white and just blast that on my browser. But the TV knows when you, if you like leave it static, uh, it doesn't change enough. It'll step down the brightness. And then you gotta reach over and like, you got to change the screen significantly so it goes oh and then it brightens back up again yeah. maybe some i can't think of what i would do so something that keeps it bright but doesn't change so that the, so that the brightness stays the same but then the tv uh it needs to change so that it doesn't get dark so that the brightness doesn't stay the same so for that's the tv's intent but i want it to stay the same crazy crap but uh, yeah, I'm not even sure who's in the damn game, but we're gonna watch it. We'll have fun. Um, we uh, got together to do a video last night, but we ended up not doing one, Andy and I. Uh, I think we're all like just a little worn out and tired in general. Old man's, old men, just, We finished that Doom thing. We talked a little bit about how the Doom thing had been around since 2018. And I was like, that's that's too long. It couldn't be. It, it's it's true. It's just we we kind of discussed, like, it would be fun to do a couple of a littler videos before getting wrapped up, locked into another video. Um, probably Resident Evil 4. It's the one we've talked about the most. It's the one we have the most options on where we want to go with it. Uh We struggle because we we'd like to use a particular uh, controller setup, and I have the inputs. I have a, a GameCube to USB adapter to slap on and, and do that and emulate a GameCube. We have tons of copies of the GameCube game, but we don't have any way to capture a GameCube without an emulator. Uh, he and I once played through the Wii version because that was. Even though I owned the GameCube version first, uh, at the time I threw like a little hissy fit when I played it, and was like, I don't, I don't like this game. It w it's, it was a better game, but it wasn't the game I was looking for. I was looking for some Resident Evil One, Two, Three gameplay, and suddenly it was the Resident Evil Four. This like whole new great style game that wasn't what I was looking for. Uh, so I remember getting to like the the, the lake early-ish, pretty pretty damn early in the game because the game's so big. I remember getting to the lake and getting drugged around the lake and being like, fuck this. <laughs> I, I, to this day, I still don't really like uh, quick time event style stuff, mash a button, you know, to mash a button not to die, hit a button not to die, mash a button to undie. It's not like it didn't exist before. You get knocked down in, in Final Fight and you can mash the buttons or you can wiggle the stick back and forth or do both and you get up really fast. Um, It's just something about the, the big snake knocking you in the lake and then you're mashing the button to swim back and you're like, what am I doing? Why am I even fighting a snake? Where are the zombies? Where are the hunters and stuff, you know? Where's my ammo management? It's, it, it, the game had an AI director, which is like a new, newer thing. Maybe one of the first like big games to have one. It was tough stuff. So, but I, I played through that Wii version 
and was like, oh, this was pretty great. And I played at uh, CDMW's place. One of the few times we went and hung out at his place uh, before his like living arrangement changed. He, he used to complain quite a bit, um, and not like, oh, what a bitch, what a complaining bitch, but he would, he would, it was a thing that weighed heavily on him that he lived in a place he didn't feel comfortable going to like the uh, communal area. They would, uh, they had like a nickname for him he didn't like and stuff. And it, I, I don't think it was necessarily like some horrific nickname, but it would be like calling someone big man or something. You're like, thanks, you know, that's all I am, this big man or whatever, you know. Well, there's worse things to be called, but I, I've seen too many sides of things. Um, yeah, I played that Wii version there and was like, well, this is, this is pretty great, actually. And why didn't I like this game and stuff? And you could use the Wiimote to point and blam, 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 like shoot the monsters right in the head. No aiming problems, you know? Uh, and hadn't played the GameCube version that much, so I wasn't used to the GameCube uh, when they remade it for Wii and going forward they rebalanced how you got ammo and stuff. Uh, that's just interesting to me in a general thing because I, I, I'm i very interested when a big company that has a successful thing is like tweaking it. Uh, what are they doing? What are their, what's their thoughts? Why are they doing that? Um, is, the, is the experience better afterwards? Are they reacting to uh, commentary that's like this game's too easy this game's too hard and changing it for that um, I think generally they're the starting somewhere around Ninja Gaiden Black which was around 2005 6 uh, there was like this realization that well earlier before you go all the way back to arcade games arcade games were hard as shit because they wanted your goddamn quarter give me your quarter you idiot kid and games like slowly backed off of that. They would just retain it in weird momentum ways. The inertia of being that way fought the change. Uh, so they'd, it'd be like, well, why, you know, why do you have a timer in this game? Well, you had a timer in the arcade game because the, the kid maybe he's gonna put in a quarter and go as slow as he can and dick around and try and make that quarter last. And you, you're like, give me another quarter. Give me another, get him out of here. Get somebody with a quarter in here. You're wasting time, wasting electricity. You're fighting, you're fighting the clock. You're fighting all these things, and games just slowly fought to get uh, to a point where it's like, well, you're just playing this for the enjoyment, the reward, the dopamine. Uh, you know, maybe a longer thing too. Arcade games could have been, uh, you know, a minute. You throw in a quarter, and, and boom, 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 boom. You're done. How long was the average game of Pac-Man? It'd be a super thing, interesting thing to me to like find out. Someone put in a quarter and did they even get a minute out of it? Like, it was like really easy to just woo 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 gone like three times. Uh, so you, <clears throat> the game started becoming an experience and you were rewarded in different ways. Uh, in Resident Evil 1, as you got better at the game, you didn't have to be quite as miserly with your ammo, or you could use ammo on different monsters and be like, oh, this is actually, I can I can use this magnum, just bam, like kill zombies, instead of saving it for the like tougher monsters where I'm, maybe I'm actually like, overkilling them and I should be using a shotgun on them instead of using a shotgun on zombies. And maybe I could use pistols on zombies and magnums on this. And you, know, you started like finding different ways to play it uh, that maybe like accommodated your skill level different and, and like no answer was like the correct answer it all depended on your skill player as a player that was engaging um, it's sort of like the utopia you would get in a you know like a well matched pvp experience uh, which I, I feel the like rose tinted glasses won't make me want to say that like the pvp experience in destiny like one uh, especially Iron Banner, which is where I would play it the most. I basically never played it if it wasn't Iron Banner. But in Iron Banner, I was like, this is pretty fun. Like, this is, uh, games go do 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 And some, some eras of D2 had that. Uh, 
you would slowly match as it, you know, breaks up the teams and make a better match and all this crap would slowly sometimes land you in a nice little uh, rut of a, of a handful of games that were going well and then something would happen, someone would come in and blow up the balance or the, you know, a team would gel out of it. I don't know what they were doing, but the, the team makeup would land in a way that was like, oh, whoops, <laughs> the one team got blown out. Um, but the, I want to say Iron Banner in D1, uh, it didn't feel like as big of a pain in the ass when you lost. It didn't feel like, fuck, you know, I'm, I'm starting to even forget which one had what system, but I want to say D1 had the thing where you would pile up to five or six tokens when you lost. And then when you won, it would cash in a bunch of 50, 60, 70% of a win for those like stacked up losses. You would, you would get rewarded. So it wasn't like you got rewarded immediately for losing, but if you hung in there after losing, uh, even going on a streak, you would then get rewarded when you got your win. Um, I feel like that's about as good as you could do in one of, the, one of those systems where you don't want people just checking in and AFKing and getting the points they want, the thing they get for participating. It's really tough because they they ended up in a situation where they highly valued only winning. In uh, they incentivized via their quest system and progress system. You know, win this many matches, or do this, uh, kill this many people. Um, and I, I is probably a mistake if you go the other way too. Just play the matches although I think that's what they want was just for you to play they want you to play though they don't want you to jump in and AFK uh, oh see I lost my light turn it back on here what's that maybe 10 minutes if that oh and then I hit the I change the input to something that's not going get my light back come on Come on, come on. We got the big white one. There it is. Um, they would, they, I think they wanted you to just play. They didn't want you to AFK. Uh, and the only way they could make sure you didn't AFK it, to some degree was to, to ask you to, to kill or win the matches. Uh, I think they asked you to participate too much. Because if the mode isn't something you just want to play in the first place, that's the fucking problem. It's not, like, it's not the person's fault if they don't want to play the mode. Like, you're bad because you don't want to play our, like, control mode. You're bad because you don't want to play with the drifter and do gambit. Well, like, I just don't want to. Oh, but you want this gun? Well, yeah, well, you, you have to play gambit. Like, I'm not going to... I If I had the gun... I wouldn't play Gambit with it. I would go do the things I like in your game. Why don't you want me to do the things I like in your game? Well, why don't you make the things that I don't like things I like? Well, that's that's like asking a lot, right? Why don't you make everything for me or whatever? But Hello, kitty. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. Come here. Come here. I know. I know. Good kitty. Yo, yo, look at me, yo. Yo, 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 you poor thing. She tried to jump across my lap and she fell. And then she was like hanging on sideways with the claws. Yeah, blinky, blinky. Go on. Now she's going to go do her favorite thing. Yo, come here, yeah. You know it's okay. Well, that's a good enough ending for our video. <laughs> what a perfect timing. Woo! Eh, I talk out of the side of my mouth sometimes. I'm bye bye. Um, yeah, so Andy and I practiced a bunch of Final Fight LNS. Maybe put up a video of that. Uh, I've got a really good handle on the game anymore. I can't quite 
uh, one credit it on any character. I, I tried on Terry Bogard and, and didn't get so far, but I, I, some characters I get it. Some characters are just monsters for my play style. Basically, they're the grappler characters. Um, uh, so yeah, we probably do a video of that. Um, looking at some some NES games, we're gonna probably before the Resident Evil, we'll do some small games, some smaller like bite size uh, series. And uh, Cray, I know you're out there. Uh, get that computer working. And uh, if you don't get it tonight, we'll do it tomorrow, and we'll figure out what we're doing then. Okay, man. All right, I'll talk to y'all later.